we are back and we are living large with Chef Hunter Lee this week. Hunter, all these pineapples are giving me Charleston vibes. We are getting into spring here in the south and uh, it's all about hospitality. Uh, we've made it through Mardi Gras. Everybody's somewhat recovered from Mardi Gras. I, I'm still recovering, but I'm pretty well there. Mm -hmm. uh, and so it, we, we're getting into a time of year, uh, spring. It's nice to get outside and it's all about hospitality. And why is the pineapple synonymous with hospitality? It is a symbol of Southern hospitality. Uh, I actually did not know that. And one of my book tours, I went to Charleston, uh, Savannah, mm -hmm. and it's even on the South Carolina license plate. So I did a little research to find out exactly what I was missing. And it was all about Southern hospitality. It started hundreds of years ago and there were different meanings for it. And it's kind of that Southern or pass aggressive, passive aggressive to an extent. They would use it, uh, they were expensive then. They had to be shipped in. They were not here in the United States. So wealthier people had them, affluent people. They would also use them when they had guests over. Uh, that was part of the dessert. Uh, it was also, again, that passive aggressive. One might go up on the mantle when it was kind of time to signify to everybody, okay, the party's over. It's time to go home. Yeah, time to leave. Uh, time to go home. And of course, throughout the years, uh, they've always stood for Southern hospitality. Uh, nowadays, somewhat little more vicarious Southern hospitality. Mm -hmm. uh, so we will uh, keep this one upright. But <laughs> uh, there's, uh, there's also a lot you can do with them. Uh, I love grilled pineapple. Uh, and then of course there's that age old question, does it go on pizza or does it not? Absolutely it goes on pizza. That is my favorite kind of pizza. Well, you answered first, so I'll leave it alone. Uh, <laughs> it's actually on, on a pizza with chicken. I can, I can deal with it. And it kind of plays into the, our second cookbook, which is based on Southern hospitality. Uh, it has a lot of the do's and don'ts, and it gives you a look into the life of Southerners and how they do hospitality a little bit different. Uh, there's a lot of catering recipes, entertaining recipes, everything all the way down to how to set a table. What's your favorite recipe with a pineapple? Probably grilled. Grilled. Uh, grilled or on a shish kebab. I do think they are delicious grilled, just a ring of pineapple When it grilled. is done just right, and in fact, pineapple juice is used in probably more marinades than most people even realize. Really? Is it used in any of your marinades? Uh, it is not used in our marinade, uh, but it is used in a lot, and I, when I do a lot of chicken and things like that, I will use straight pineapple juice as one of the ingredients in my home marinade. Hunter, what inspired you to write your second cookbook? Actually, the pineapple. The pineapple. Uh, the, the idea of Southern entertaining, our first cookbook, was more of like your family style recipes and things like that. And this one, uh, we wanted to get in that Southern hospitality, that Southern entertaining, uh, part of what makes the South and Louisiana what it is. So a lot of party recipes, a lot of appetizers, yeah, past hors d'oeuvres. Yes. Uh, most of them are also extremely user friendly. Okay. So I know so we've had that discussion before. Uh, all of these recipes, you can wow people coming over or take it somewhere. And it looks like you have put a lot of work into it where a lot of them are really pretty basic and pretty easy recipes. Okay, I'm gonna need a very, very, very basic recipe, but I would like to bring something with a wow factor. It would shock all of my absolutely, friends. Absolutely, absolutely. And that's part of that Southern tradition is even if it didn't take you hours in the kitchen, it looks better if they think it did. Hunter, can you tell us some of your tips and tales? Uh, this was actually one of our first tips and tales that I did. Uh, I write for several newspapers, a column, and then we post it on our website where you can also find the products and the books at BenwoodShirleySouthern.com. But each week is posted every Friday a new tips and tales. It may be tricks or tips for the kitchen. Mm -hmm. And we also do a lot of great recipes. We just did a month here uh, every week of our Mardi Gras recipes. It was delicious. So, and we're now getting into spring, and I did have one lady request on Facebook uh, and another social media site uh, that now that it is spring, they would like to see some of these lighter recipes mm -hmm. and some of these things getting us into this time of year. Maybe a pineapple pizza? Maybe grilled pineapple. Grilled pineapple on a pizza. <laughs> I'm, I'm a big pineapple pizza person. Well, I'm going to get you to you do make it before the, pizza the year is and out. I'll grill the pineapple. Hunter, you talked about grilling pineapple. I love it because it kind of blends that sweet and spicy. It does. And it also, pineapple has an enzyme in it. 
uh, that helps to tenderize and break down meat. Okay. So especially you see a lot of people doing it on uh, shish kebabs that have chicken, uh, especially if they're doing uh, like chicken breast. Mm -hmm. The enzymes and the juice and the pineapple keep the chicken from drying out. Really? And it just, it all around gives it a better flavor. Uh, you think of tart. But it's really not. It, it has that sweet and savory to it as well. And you could put a little Benwood seasoning on Absolutely. that kebab and make it uh, delicious. We, I, I do several different recipes, and it includes seasonings. Or you even do hot sauce and the pineapple juice as well. Uh, and believe it or not, as odd as that sounds sometimes, they mend well together. So now that we've talked about the pineapple on the pizza, I'm going to go ahead and uh, with that passive-aggressive Southern hospitality and... Uh, See you later. All right. Well, Hunter, I guess that's my cue to go, and I will see everybody next week. We'll be living large with Chef Hunter Lee. Obviously, I was just kidding, but always make sure to keep it upright. Keep it upright? You'll let me stay? You can stay. <laughs>